Okay, so today's problem, we're going to attack this uh, circuit, and this is probably the most complicated type of circuit that you'll see in, in this course. Um, the complication here is that we have the 3 and the 8 ohm resistor on either side of the parallel. So we can go ahead and redraw this. So if I redraw this, I have a, there's my 8. And then I split it up into my six and my four. And then my five and my two is also in parallel to those two guys. And then I also have my three on the end. Let me move this over a little bit there. And um, that's it. So that's the whole circuit. It, that's kind of the equivalent of it. Although I don't have to draw this out in this way. I think it's simple enough in this form. Now, what we want to do here is we want to calculate our total resistance first. Remember, our objective here is to find the voltage in the current through every resistor. So we know that if we cut this section out here. That means our total resistance is going to be equal to 8 plus some amount, which is the center portion, plus another 3, which is in series. Now that center amount, I can redraw this part here as this. I can go, well, it's going to be a 10, which is 6 plus 4, and a 7 on the bottom. That resistance there is going to be 1 over 10 plus 1 over 7, all reciprocated. And when I do that, I will get approximately 4.12 ohms. Now, this is rounded. My I have stored the actual uh, full Mantissa answer in my calculator's memory. So at this point, we know that this unknown middle part is 4.12. So now I can calculate my total resistance to be plus 8 plus 3, which gives me 15.12 ohms, approximately. Now, now I can take this and divide it into my 25 volts because I can calculate my total, cur uh, total current by going total voltage divided by total resistance. And I know my total resistance now. It's 15.12. And now this is going to give me a current, total current of approximately 1.65 amps. Now, now that I now that I know that my total current is 1.65 amps, uh, I also know that this current is going to split here, but it's also going to recombine here, and therefore I'm going to have a total current going through here also of 1.65 amps. Now. Knowing that, I can get my voltage across my 8 ohm. That's just going to be IR, which is 1.65 times uh, 8. And that's going to give me, that gives me 13.23 volts. And I can also calculate my voltage across my 3 ohm resistor, and that's going to be, again, 1.65 amps times my 3 ohm resistor, and that's going to give me 4.96 volts. So you see now I have V8, and I have V3, and I also have, I know that I8 is the same as I total. 
that's 1.65 amps. And I know that I3 is the same as I total, that's 1.65 amps. Now, I could do one of two things at this point. I could say that my voltage across this point and this point is the total voltage, okay? So let's just kind of like say one possible solution in this situation would be to say, okay, it's 25 minus 13.23 minus 4.96. That's going to give me the voltage across these two points that I've drawn here. And because my seven and my 10, those two points are here, and because my 10 and my seven are in parallel, I know that whatever that is, it's actually 6.81 volts. Now I know that across here, I've got 6.81 volts. And I know that it's a parallel resistors, so therefore I know the voltage across the six and the four and the five and the two, which is 6.81. But there is another way I could do this. And the alternate way I could do this is just to use current division. And if I use current division, uh, I would just simply have to m denote the sides. So let's just say this is uh, segment number one, and this let's say this is segment number two. So if I did it here, let me just change the color. Whoa. This would be the one, and this would be the two, second segment. So now we can apply current division. So we'll have I1 is equal to R2. Remember, it's the opposite side over the total times the total current. And doing this, we would get uh, R2 is 10 over 7 plus 10 times an I total of 1.65. And doing the same thing for I2, we would get R1 over R1 plus R2 times I total, which is going to give us 7 over 7 plus 10. And that's times 1.65 as well. So these two will give us currents of, so that's going to give me currents of 0.973 amps for side one and 0.681 for side number two. Now I can easily calculate the voltages across the six, that's IR, therefore it's going to be I2 0.681 times the 6, V4. So V4 here is also going to equal IR. It's going to be the same I. So that's going to be 0 0.61 times a 4. So that's going to give me 4.09 volts for the 6 ohm resistor. And if I calculate it for the 4, I'm going to go 0.68 times 4, and that's going to give me uh, 2.72 volts for the 4 ohm resistor. Now, let's skip over uh, to the... Okay, let's just pull this down a little bit so we can see. There we go. Let's now move over to the 5 and the 2. And the 5, again, is IR. But now this time, the I is this one. Okay, It's I1, remember, because that's number one side. That's going through both the 5 and the 2. So this is going to be 0 0.973 amps times the 5 ohm. And this is going to be 0 0.973 times the 2 ohm. And these are respectively going to be 
they are respectively 4.86 and 1.95 volts. Now remember, both of these guys should add up to 6.81. So if we go 4.86 plus 1.95, we get 6.81. So that is correct. And if we go 4.09, plus 2.72, we also get 6.81, so that is correct as well. So you see, both of these guys, on the 4 and the 6, these have to add up to 6.81, and both of these two guys, the 4.86, both of these guys have to add up to also 6.81. So essentially now, we have figured out the voltage through and current through every single resistor in the circuit. Now, in order to calculate the power, if we wanted to, we could multiply I times V to get the power for any particular resistor, or alternatively, we could go I squared times R, or alternatively, we could go V squared over R and we could solve it like that as well. But at this point, we've solved the circuit, and um, I hope it's clear that there isn't just one way to do something. There's oftentimes, there's uh, many different ways to approach a problem. All right, thanks for watching.